everybody, Kyle from NorthwestUrbanFarmer.com. Today we're going to make an herb garden to put in our windowsill indoors. Now it's still pretty early in the year, so I'm going to show you some tricks that get it going uh, really quickly indoors for the season. So we're going to need a few things to get us started. We're going to need a pot. I've got about a five inch pot here. And make sure it's got a drip pan underneath it since you're going to be putting it indoors. We're also going to need some skewers. You can just get these at the grocery store, which is where I got these. Some cling wrap some garden soil, and of course your seeds. We're gonna be using rosemary today. So the first thing you're gonna do is fill this with dirt. Herbs are not very intensive in terms of nutrient needs, so you don't have to worry too much about the soil you're giving them. Just get a, any kind of run of the mill potting soil and you'll be fine. Now I'm not gonna push this down, but I am gonna pat it on the table to settle the soil. And you can see that it's settled, so I'm gonna put a little bit more dirt on there. and settle it once again. Now since we're not compacting the soil, you can really get the soil all the way up to the top because as you water it a few times, it is going to compact down a little bit more than it is right now. So now that you've filled it with soil and patted it down, we're going to make a couple little reservoirs for seeds. I like to put just a few patches of seeds around the pot. So I'm just going to go in with my finger and make just a few little holes. Herb seeds generally only need to be covered by about a quarter inch of soil. So if you're going to make really deep holes, the seeds aren't going to sprout and make it all the way through the soil. You just want a fine little layer of soil on top of it. Next, we're going to put a few seeds in each hole. Now that you've put the seeds in, we're going to cover it gently with soil just a little bit. Now you can see that these didn't get in there this deep. They just got covered by a thin little layer of soil and that's all we need. Then we're gonna take it over to the sink and uh, make sure we saturate the entire thing with water. Again, make sure that the pot you're using has a catch basin. If it doesn't, you can get those little trays at Home Depot or Lowe's to sit your pot in. But it's very important to have that since it's going to be indoors when you water it, the water is going to flow through the soil and a little bit is going to come out the bottom. Also make sure the pot you use has a hole in the bottom, otherwise you're just going to get water sitting at the bottom of the uh, pot and it's going to cause mold and, and rot and your, your herbs aren't going to grow very well. Now that we've watered this thing all the way through, what we're going to do is create a little greenhouse on top of the pot. What that's going to do is it's going to keep the moisture in. It's also going to let the sun's rays in and heat up the soil. And it's not going to let that heat out. What a greenhouse really does is traps the heat. What that's going to do is it's going to heat up our soil. It's going to allow our seeds to sprout a lot more successfully and actually a lot quicker than it would otherwise. So that's what's going to bring uh, our wooden skewers into play. We're going to take a wooden skewer and we're just going to poke a hole right down the center and push it all the way in. Then we're going to cut off the top, maybe three or four inches, just to create a little tent on top. Then grab your cling wrap and lay it over the top. Now it doesn't need to be perfect and it doesn't need to be tight. All you need to do is make sure you just press around all the edges. And what this is going to do is it's going to keep the moisture in and keep the heat in um, to our pot and it's going to heat up the soil pretty nicely in our windowsill. Anytime you need to water it, you can just pull up a little side, pour in some water, and then seal it back down. Now, on your windowsill, this thing's going to get a lot warmer than the ambient temperature in the room, especially since uh, we're pretty early in the season here and it's stayed in the 40s and 50s. This is going to be necessary to sprout our seeds this early in the year, and we're going to get a good jump start on our herb garden. And there you have it. You've got a little herb pot with a greenhouse on top, and it's going to sprout really well on your windowsill. Just make sure to find a sunny location and keep the soil moist for a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check us out at northwesturbanfarmer.com.